fast. So to slow mine down a little bit, I'm going to have it wait one second after each command. So if we go back over to the left and we're going to click on the orange control category, the orange circle that says control, and at the top of that, there's a block that says wait one second. So I'm going to drag that out and attach it to the bottom of my go to XY. So it will wait one second before it moves on to the next step. Okay, now I'm going to have my spray move around like in a square. So from the top right corner, I'm going to have it move down to the bottom right corner. So if you could put your mouse on your sprite and drag it down to the bottom right corner. Now we're going to go back to the motion category, the blue circle. And if we look now at the go to XY block, the numbers are different now because my sprite now is in a different position. So now mine says go to X 186 and Y is a negative 109. So that's what the position at the bottom right corner. So drag over, go to XY and attach it to the bottom of the weight block. Can then we're to... you're gonna have to type again, Deeksha. I can't understand you. So if you could type it in the chat. If we go to the control section, let's add a wait one second block again to the bottom of this go to XY. So so far my code says when green flag is clicked, go to XY. Wait one second, go to XY, wait one second. <clears throat> okay, so we're just gonna keep this pattern up. So go to your, put your mouse on your sprite, drag it over to the bottom left corner because I'm going around in a square. So I'm going down and then over. So my, when green flag could, Glide one second to X, X 180Y minus 123, then wait one second and the, and the same thing. Glide one second okay. to XY. That's fine. We didn't choose glide. We did go, but glide will still work. All right. Once For you me, it says, oh. Once you drag your sprite over to the bottom left corner, go back to the motion category and get to go to XY block. And now my numbers are both negative. X is a negative number and Y is a negative number. So if you're in the bottom left corner, that should give you additional. Where, the negative. Where is the trash? You can just drag it back over to the where all the blocks are and then it will garbage oh. it. Okay. All right, after you add that, go to X, you can go to control, Ms. M? add another Ms. M? second block. Harish? Ms. M, mm -hmm. uh, what block are we supposed to use? Go to the, X. Before the go to L. What is the, like, what kind? The very first block is when green flag. For the la the. And then. Um, green flag click, go to X, Y, X, Y, then wait one second, go to X, Y, wait one second, go to X, Y. So three X, Ys, um, two one seconds, right? Yep, and now I just added my third wait one second, and then I added my fourth X, Y to okay. get to the top left corner. Okay, now I'm gonna add another, wait one second. <clears throat> then I'm gonna drag over the Sprite back to the starting point where it started. 
I'm going to go back to the motion category and put another go to XY. Now, if I want my spray to end up exactly where it started, I'm going to have to type in the same numbers that are in my first XY block. So it doesn't matter to me if it ends up in the exact same spot. So it's up to you. So it's going to end up back in the top right corner. My last block says go to X 200, Y 138. So if I look at my first X, Y block, that's not exactly the same as what I had end. So you should have a pattern. You should have go to X, Y, wait one second, go to X, Y, wait one second, go to X, Y, wait one second. So we're doing a square, but we're ending up in the same spot that we started with. So we should actually have five of each one of those blocks. So when you're finished, if you can click on the green flag at the top above the stage and your sprite should move around each corner in a square. Okay. Now, if we wanted to repeat that a few times, we could add a repeat loop. So if you, I think we're going to have to. So in the control section, in the orange section, if you drag the repeat loop over and connect it to the top, to the when green flag is clicked, it should automatically put all those blue and orange blocks inside the repeat loop. But you have to make sure that you have it high enough so it attaches to the when green flag is clicked. Now all of my blue and orange blocks are inside the repeat. And you can repeat it as many times as you want. Maybe I just want to repeat it five times. So instead of repeat 10, I can put repeat five, and now when I click the green flag, it'll go around in the square five times. This is not look. Yes, Darshan. Uh, uh it, class is almost over, and I have another meeting at ten forty. So can yep. I Yes. Ariane. Can I share what I did? I did it a little For today. You probably it automatically, <laughs> but sometimes it doesn't save. So up at the very top, if you scroll up to the top and go to file, up in the blue bar, go to file and then click save now, then, that, then you can make sure that it really is saved. Okay. All right. So anybody that wants to leave can leave. I'll see you tomorrow. And then, Ariane, if you want to go ahead and share your screen.